Hi, my name is Nun Fonseca. I'm the creator of Sound Particles, and I have a new series of video tutorials to give you a better overview of the software and its features. Um, before getting into the software itself, uh, it's important for people to understand what kind of software is this, because it's completely different from any other software uh, that currently exists. So. Essentially, you can think of sound particles almost like a CGI kind of software, but for sound. So in CGI softwares, you have this virtual space where you place these uh, models of things and you have a virtual camera that moves around and captures the image of all of the, the scene. And this is almost the same, but for sound. So essentially, you have uh, as you can see, these are the views. So you have all, each one of these points is sound sources. So you have a virtual empty space with these sound sources uh, playing sound. And then you have a virtual microphone there that captures the sound of everything that is happening on that scene. Um, so you have this uh, important feature of the software, but one also an additional important feature is the ability to use particle systems and particle systems it's something that is widely used in computer graphics especially when you want to create these fuzzy shapeless objects like fire smoke rain dust things like that because you don't want the animator to be to need to animate each raindrop or each grain of smoke or something like that so there is this concept of particle systems that allows this particle system will create and manage all of these small particles so you get all of these uh, a huge number of small points or things like that that it's much more interesting not only it saves time to the animator but also gets you much more organic results because instead of the animator try to animate a few of them and then copy paste them and things like that so essentially it's much more natural because you have all of this randomness that is uh, quite natural with this so essentially imagine in the case of sound particles that you want to create the sound of a battlefield and instead of using a traditional approach of going to your uh, digital audio workstation and pick up some audio files and explosion and scream and try to add one by one and eventually copy paste them things like that it, imagine that you can come to a software like sound particles and simply say okay I want to create 10,000 particles in this case each particle is a sound source so give me 10,000 particles spread over a square mile I'm going to my sound library and pick up some 100 word related sound effects like explosions impacts screens guns things like that and I want to import them and Eventually, each particle will randomly select one of these audio files to reproduction to reproduce, and then essentially I'm going to capture a virtual microphone in the middle of the scene. It could be in stereo, it could be 5.1, or even uh, immersive formats like Dolby Atmos 9.1 or something like that. And then you capture the sound of everything that is happening with these thousands of sounds happening at the same time, or eventually using some granular synthesis and use each particle as a, as a very small small grain of something like to create a fire or something like that so essentially there are several things that you can do with the with the, the software and essentially the important thing is that okay it's a virtual empty space okay you're going to need always going to need two things sound sources and microphones so at least you have to have uh, uh, some particles to create sound and then you're going to have some microphone over there that will capture the sound of everything that is happening around you and then you and when you have all of this setting of course also you have to import some audio files to say what do you want the particles to reproduce okay so essentially you can simply grab one audio file which means that all particles will play the same thing or eventually you can pick up 10, 20, 100, 200 files if you want and then each particle will randomly select one of those. After you do the, all of this and you think okay I, I think that is the kind of scene that I want you need to render because if you don't render you are not getting any audio yet so you need to render to allow the computer to make all the, the processing and then when you render you end up having something like this. Thank you. 
And so, and in the end, you simply come here and say, okay, export audio. And then this, you can export the audio for your uh, tool session or something like that. So I hope you enjoyed. I have ad some additional uh, videos that show some examples and then a few others uh, regarding more uh, reference kind of videos that shows exactly every single parameter of the software. So I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you have any questions.